welcome to the paper snob this is tara today i'm working on thankful thursday week number three this is a hop that is hostessed by sandy over at the steak goddess i will have her information down below in the description box as well as a playlist and then a list of all of the creators who are hopping along with us for thankful thursdays in the month of november I have pulled out my counterfeit kit from or for October, and I've chosen some things to play with. I've got three pieces of pattern paper, some bits and pieces of ephemera, some puffy stickers, a pocket card, and some acetate mandalas, some wood veneer pieces, some chipboard pieces, and some alphas. Now you may notice that a lot of my items are from Hip Kit Club and that is because most of my October counterfeit kit is from Hip Kit. In fact, everything that I pulled from it or for it came from one of my Hip Kits, but a couple of the pattern papers were Pink Fresh Studios that were in a Hip Kit Club kit. So, I will put a link down below so that you can read my blog post about my October hip kit. I um, did not do a video for my my counterfeit kit, but you can see um, my thought process on how I chose it because my kit was definitely rogue since the kit that was used as inspiration was a Christmas kit. But let's get back to Thankful Thursday. Today I'm going to be scrapbooking about my sisters. I'm very thankful for my sisters. Um, I have two sisters. I'm pictured with both of them here. I have an older sister and a younger sister. I'm the one in the middle. Um, I was raised with Melanie. was not raised with my older sister, Serenity. We have different fathers. Or we have the same father, different mothers. And Melanie and I have the same mom and different fathers. So we are half sisters, but I fully love them, of course. And we have a great relationship um, now. Fun story. I actually didn't meet Serenity until I was 14. And that is because her mom took her away from the area when she was an infant because our biological father is abusive and her mom ran with her. And great job for her mom. Sorry that I got to miss out a lot on my sister, but you know, hey, it is what it is. I get her now and you know, we didn't have any of that bickering growing up stuff that a lot of sisters have. So that probably makes our relationship a lot easier. Um, Melanie and I are nine and a half years apart. So there really isn't a whole lot of bickering because there was just too many years between the two of us. Um, I used to pack her around when she was little and play with her like a baby doll. So, um, I don't even know if she remembers that, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and make some cuts and I'm going to get started on this layout. I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and cut my, um, pictures apart. I printed them with my picture mate 400. So, um, I just printed them on one four by six sheet. So I measured, and I know I could have measured it on my trimmer, but this is a brand new trimmer to me. I just got it yesterday, and I am trying to learn it, you know, a new item. I'm very, very used to the Fiskars trimmer that I have used for the last 23-ish years that I've been um, scrapbooking. So... It takes some effort to learn a new one. And so far, I really like this trimmer. So it is the new Tim Holtz Precision trimmer that just came out. It's got a great price point and you can order yours at Scrapbook Generation. I ordered mine elsewhere, but they have them in stock and they are a good price point and they have great shipping. So you'll get it quickly. Um, I am taking these pieces of pattern paper and I'm just tearing off a little bit of each and I'm going to make a layer of torn pattern paper going horizontally across my layout. 
I am going to flip over the black piece and I'm going to use the um, yellow side of the black and white pattern paper as one of the layers. I will first um, rip off some more of that white. I, I love the look of torn paper, but I don't like it when the tear is so large like it is there. So that's why I'm tearing that off. I like the smaller torn edge. And so anyway, I'm going to do that. And then I took that pocket card, which to me was a really odd size. And um, I, I trimmed it in half. And now I'm going to do some paper tearing on it so that it will become the fourth layer on this background. I will also cut it down so that the um, mandala heart won't be as visible on the layout once I get all of the layers glued down. Um, you're gonna see me kind of switch them back and forth trying to decide which one I'm gonna cut down. I should have flipped one so that the heart, the heart was in the middle and I didn't because if I had done that, I could have covered it up with an end kind of like that, but it's on the other side and I can't really cover it up. So I'm gonna cut it, one of them off, and then I'm gonna have just a tad bit of the other one hanging off the side. So when I glue it, I probably will switch those two pieces, but I'm just giving you an, an idea of what um, it's gonna look like. I am using two Illustrated Faith labels um, I have tons of those printed out in all colors and sizes, so I cut out two that matched my pattern papers, and now I'm going to start layering up this ephemera. When I created my November CK CKC kit, I did not open the um, ephemera packs, and they're very summer-themed, and I didn't realize that, um, so I had to really dig through to find things that I wanted to use because I'm not really scrapbooking summer right now. In fact, I have quite a few birthday and um, Christmas layouts left to do for 2015. So I may need to dig into my 2016 albums that I have started and try to use my kit up in that year versus working towards finishing my 2015. My goal is to have my 2015 family albums complete by the end of the year. I'm fairly close at this point, but not close enough to say that I'm going to make it yet. So I found Besties Scents Like Forever in the ephemera pack, and I could have just used that for my title. Instead, it's going to become sort of a subtitle because I want to title this um, Fully Loved. Um, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that these two are my half-sisters, but they're fully loved, and so that's where my title comes from. I'm moving the mandala acetate um, pieces around. I really, really wanted to use three of those, and I'm, I kind of feel like they're a little awkward, and so I was just kind of digging them around, and I think I might actually pull one of them out and replace it with a smaller one. I think I did that, um, but I think I did that off camera. So I'm putting fully in all caps, and then I'm going to flip over the alphas, and I'm going to put loved in lowercase, and there's no rhyme or reason for that. That's just what I decided to do. Um, I wanted the fully to be more emphasized, so I guess that is my reason I wanted to put emphasis on fully. Um, again, I'm still really struggling with um, where the bestie sense like forever is, and so I'm going to move it down towards the bottom just to try to figure out where I want things to go. Now, I found a piece of wood veneer that says love you so much, and so that's going to end up on my layout and that's pretty much it all right i got this layout completely glued down i put some foam adhesive up in various places and i added some little puffy hearts i did move things around a little bit when i was gluing i ended up 
moving this arrow from up here to down below the title kind of pointing towards my journaling on the little tags i also moved this little mandala up behind my son i believe i originally had it down here um otherwise i you saw everything that i put on here on camera i just shut the camera off to glue i want to thank you so much for coming to my channel today i really appreciate those of you who take the time to like comment and or subscribe if you're not a subscriber please click that button below and if you want youtube to notify you when i put out new content click the bell and they'll send you a notification i do strive to put out two to four videos per week last week i managed two this week i have three so there's plenty of content on my channel for you to catch up on and i i, I just hope that you enjoyed this video you have a great rest of your day bye